Hey, listen, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Last time, we used the Chrono Trigger to bring Chrono back, so, well, now it's time to take on Lavos. Since the world is in imminent peril, though, we should do side quests first. Or, we can do what I call side side quests, the bonus content new to the DS version of the game, and I'm gonna do that now. I just figured, I mean, we could have done it earlier, but... I figured, well, let's get Chrono back and then we'll do all that stuff. So yeah, remember when the Black Omen came, uh, or, well, yeah, the Black Omen came out? Well, and then those two gates appeared after that? Well, those are new to the DS version of the game. So if you're playing the Super Nintendo version, well, you might want to wait a few episodes before I finish all this stuff. But yeah, uh, Gaspar there is just describing the original side quests in the Super Nintendo version of the game. But I'm not going to do those yet. I'm going to go after the new side quests first. Kind of mix things up a little bit and spread things out a little bit. So let's head on to the epic, or er, epoch, the epic epoch. And let's go back to, let's start with 600 AD. See what we can do back there. Now for what party members I'm using at this point in the game, I would recommend at least using Magus because he desperately needs a lot of tech points to learn all of his techs back again that were drained from Lavos. And use whatever other party members you need who still need to learn more techs. You can pretty much use whoever you want. So this, at this point in the game, these are the characters that I want to use. Oh, well, let's check it out. Well, it was a gate, so I wonder where that would have uh, taken us. Whoa! Got monsters everywhere here. Nuts. Yeah, you can't do anything here in 600 AD. I just figured I'd show you that just to show you, yes, you can't start here. You gotta go to the other one that's in 65 million BC. So, let's head on over there first, actually, to get started on this side quest here. Actually, it's a, a, a series of side quests, but eh, I'll get to that in a moment. I like how they shift the world map over a little bit for, like, continental drifting over millions of years. Nice touch. Nice little detail they had there. Let's see if th things are going any better in this time period. Well, there's no monsters around here. You can't go into those caves there. They're, well, you just can't. Uh, hmm. No one's around. Well, that's weird. Well, let's keep on looking around. Well, there's not much we can do here, so... Now well, let's go exploring. Let's go up to this area. The Millennia Wood. Well, here's those monsters we saw from earlier. Nuts. Well, that's no good. Well, how hard could they possibly be? Well, actually, the enemies in the side quest areas are actually remotely challenging. So, well, we got to be a little careful here. Okay, so, let's get these guys into a nice little ball there. Or right in the middle there. And bomb them. Megaton bomb. Dark bomb. That's the way to go. Now, unlike their cousins from earlier in the game, uh, you cannot burn their hammers. The only reason I used that was just because it dealt really good damage, that's all. And, well, I don't have Flare yet. So, Ayla, not going to be too useful here. I mostly scatter around just to uh, learn her final tech, and that's pretty much it. See, I thought there was a chest around here. Maybe I uh, missed it. Or... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, high push. Good, good. Yeah, most of the new enemies to the DS version of the game in this area, just basically palette swaps of old enemies with new properties and such to them. So, nothing extraordinary here, but let's see, against these guys... You know what, let's try Inferno, see if that works well on these guys. Yeah, look at that damage! Wow! Glad I brought Luca and Ayla there! But yeah, use whatever you like. If you got Luminaire or Flare, that works too. Hmm, nothing down there. Hmm. 
Yeah, same enemies as before. Inferno is going to be really good in this area. I could have sworn there was a path down there. Maybe that's further down. Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah. 20,000 gold. Awesome. Can never have enough of that. We're going to need a lot of money when we get through this area. There's going to be a lot of good stuff to buy. So, I mean, there's another new enemy. Uh, Ogre Chieftain. Basically a stronger version of the other one. So, yeah. See, another good dual tech might be... What's that one? Antipode Bomb 3. That would be really nice. That's one of my favorite dual techs. It hits all enemies on the screen. Really powerful. Inferno is not bad either, though. Until we get Flair for Luca, which I don't. Yeah, another secret passage. Yeah, they're everywhere in this forest here. So you gotta look out for them. Okay, and after taking care of those guys, what is this thing? What's that sparkle there? Hmm. Well, I, I guess we got them all. Hmm. Well, maybe we should take a look around for survivors, but first let's grab some treasure. If I can move. Thank you. Yeah, what is with that sapling there? Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. And if you go down here, yeah, lots of treasures that are hard to find, so. But I found them all. So yeah, with these side quests, basically what we're going to be doing is, well, actually, I'll explain a little more later. Um, but yeah, I like, some of the things I like with how they handle the side quests is there's, a, there's going to be some really good rewards that we get from the side quests that aren't in the Super Nintendo version of the game. And I like how they handle the bosses, too. A lot of the bosses have some interesting mechanics to them. I'll be honest, the story? Eh, not that interesting. But everything else is cool. Well, there is that one part that's tedious. You know the one part I'm talking about, viewers. But everything else is fine. It is going to take a while to do all this stuff, though. Well, you talk and... You stand on two feet and talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we took care of them. We took care of them real good. Aren't you reptites? I would think you guys would hate the apes. Oh, so they, uh, they were just hiding. Huh. I would think reptiles would be able to kick their ass. But I, I guess I was wrong. I thought they were all killed by that... Well, th by Lavos. Yeah, now we can cower in open caves. Oh, okay. Well, what do we get? For killing all the enemies in the Millennia Wood, we get... The Dragon's Tear. It's a new accessory for the DS version of the game. Boosts your critical hit rate. It's really nice. Sure, why not? I'm not going to equip the Dragon's Tear right now, but it will be useful later on. Sure, why not? So yeah, basically what's going to happen here is... Periodically, these guys are going to give us side quests to do, whether it's like an item fetch quest or a boss kill quest or whatever, and we get some pretty good stuff in return. So I really like that. So apparently this guy wants us to help him with his golden hammer. Sounds vulgar. But uh, sure, why not? I'll help you out. Let's see if any of these other guys have any more information about this thing. Sure, why not? This isn't exactly a side quest that he wants that blade for, but if you run into it, you can give it to him and you get something in exchange there. So, not really part of the side quest, but... And, uh, he sells some stuff right now, but his wares will change later on. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose that's the only lead we got right now. Might want to check that out. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got to get the golden sand in order to get the golden wood so we can get the golden hammer. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds vulgar. But, yeah, yeah. So, basically, we got to go south to get the golden sand now. So, what I want to do is just rest up here. Yeah, for the most part, don't worry about your MP usage. Uh, you should be fine. I've listed my setup in the video description, by the way. But yeah, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go in, kill some enemies, come back, you can rest up, and then move on to the next part of the side quest, and so on and so forth. So, let's grab some treasure as long as we're here. Where'd all the other... Ah, there they are. It's like, where'd they all go? Anyway, here we got a new enemy. The King Frog. Uh, they are... Not weak to anything. In fact, none of the enemies here have any elemental weakness. But they are strong against lightning elemental attacks. If not immune to it, I forget. But, yeah, don't use lightning on them. Or Luminaire. Or anything like that. Basically... Yeah, Fire 2, or Magus will eventually learn Dark Mist. That'll be really nice, but that's Shadow Elemental. Ah, speaking of Shadow Elemental, there's another enemy there. Uh, the Death Creeper. Uh, Death Creepers are immune or resistant to Shadow. And the King Frogs are resistant to Light. So we want to keep on going with Fire stuff. Fire is going to be really, really good. Actually, it's just a coincidence that I have Luca here. I just haven't learned all of her texts yet. I've already learned all my texts for Chrono, Robo, and Marley there. So, 8,000 gold. Can never have enough of that. Can never have enough money. Now, there are some other areas we can go to, like to the right and to the left of this area, but well, I'm not going to do that just yet. Not until the side quests dictate it. We need to go there. Oh, more frogs. Oh, and we got another new enemy here. Okay, Exile. Uh, they are also resistant to light. So, yeah, we're just going to keep on going with Inferno. Why an Inferno would require wind, I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. But, it works. And, let's see. Ah, there's another sparkle. The Golden Sand. So, we got what we were looking for, but let's just make sure I got everything. Okay, yeah, that's the last treasure around here. Oh, and another new enemy there. Okay, uh, that one is Jackpot. Uh, that one has no elemental resistances, so I can pretty much use whatever I want that's not lightning. So. Yeah, I don't think anything's resistant to fire, unless they're resistant to everything. So, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Hey, hey, all right, we got Triple Kick. Nice. Well, I think... Uh, well, hold on. Let me see if there's any other enemies around here. I was thinking about bringing in Frog, who's the only other character who hasn't learned all of his texts yet, but... No, I think we're in the clear. So, okay. Yeah, let's bring in Frog, then, so he can work on his stuff, then. And... Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to take that Golden Sand back up to the Millennial Wood, where there's that sapling there. So what I'm going to do is... Well, I'm just going to meet you in the back of that forest area from the four. Oh, the area we were just in, sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, that is the Great Southern Swamp, just for future reference. But, hmm, yeah, was, we can't do a whole lot there right now, so... So, yeah, basically, yeah, I'll just meet you in the back there, then. I don't think I need to rest up. Okay, we made it into the back of this area. How do I get this thing on there? Ah. 
I don't know how you use sand to make a tree, but just just go along with it, viewers. And yeah, so now we've got that. I I don't know why we have to wait 65 million years for a tree to grow, but that's pretty much what we got to do. So now we're going to head to the Lost Sanctum in the Middle Ages there. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.